And here we are coming for the next match, compound man bronze medal match with Logan Wilde and Mike Slosher, Mr. Perfect. And with us, Bridge Ditton, helping me to make some sense in what we are saying. <laughs> so it's, it's hard to be called a Mr. Perfect. <laughs> it, puts a, it can put a little pressure on it for uh, wait, sure, but... Uh, that's it. But to be able to, to throw 60 two. arrows into that small ten ring and shoot for compound is, uh, is pretty impressive. It it's is. definitely something I've never done even in practice. So it's still so definitely something to be proud of. So I was talking to him this morning. We shared a taxi to come here. And it's quite interesting because from outside you seem like an ice, ice man. Ice man. It's it's cool car. And he was telling me he was struggling with some, <laughs> some exciting and some emotion inside. and telling me that he needs uh, some more arrows to get in the mood. The first half of each of the qualification was not good and it was coming very good in the second half. Well, and regardless of who you are, everybody deals with a little bit of, you know, everybody feels the pressure when they step up on the line, especially for uh, you know, a medal match. But so. there's something in archery that from outside, we see you guys so cool, so focused, say, oh, he's in full control. And then when we talk to you <laughs> inside, it's a different story. <laughs> Very and and Mike, so. who lost a lot of weight, has been taking care of his, uh, uh, no, let's say, what he eats and making a little bit more exercise. And he lost quite a lot of weight, which affects also on the strength and how you feel your body. Yep, it definitely helps you gain a lot more uh, more endurance for a day like today where we shoot, uh, you know, if you're in a metal match, you're shooting four no, matches. Yeah. So. And, of course... Logan Wild, Logan Wild quite ten. known, who last year, a couple of years, changed to a new bow. <laughs> yep, he started working, actually works for uh, Elite or the Outdoor Group, which is the big company, Scott, CBE, ten. and Elite. So working as a rep for them. And uh, Mike, who I believe is just shooting for Hoyt right now, and he's pretty darn good at it. <laughs> <laughs> and got it, yes. Yes. That's in the line. And we have a star for both of them in twenty nine. It's clear that is going to be a tight match. Yeah, both of them are shooting, shooting pretty well. Uh, they know each other very well. They know they're shooting pretty well. <laughs> oh yeah. And, and they're, they're used to be in this kind of situation, correct? Yep. And that, you know, being in a situation for help, but also knowing who you're shooting against can make a big difference too. If, you know, if you're shooting with a shooting against a friend, it can not so much ease the pressure, but just make you a little more comfortable because you know, I mean, you know who the person is. You're not, you know, it's just like when you're practicing almost. Uh, you're used to shooting against them, used to having that that person right next to you. And, uh, I think that's why you know the Wild family has been so successful, not only with you know Rio and Logan, but as you know his, uh, their father D Wild won multiple world championships. Rio and Logan both shoot really well. They all practice together quite a bit. So you go down and go down to the range and you can practice with guys that were world champions it's that's really luxury yeah you are training daily with the guy who's probably fighting against the medal in the next world championship mm -hmm. <laughs> of course training uh, competitiveness and in a way that the staff make you tougher yeah, we have mike Nine. Characteristic style. Ten. Here we got one point of lead for Logan. And people celebrate, eh? <laughs> Mike is a bit low in both of them. The U.S. actually brought quite a big. Uh, contingent to this tournament <laughs> this year so yes it was a nice big group and 
seems that you always like Bangkok. <laughs> so I know, I know, I really enjoyed this tournament last year, and I had a great time this year for a short amount of time. I was able to stay Fun. here, so. Fantastic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ten. And now he gets it. back on track with his third arrow. See if Logan can capitalize on a two-point jump here. Nine. Yes. Well, like you were talking earlier with uh, the women's bronze match, how they shoot really quickly. You'll see. Mike has a faster shot sequence, but Logan likes to say it will draw for a little longer. Yes. And that's just, you know, everybody has their own kind of natural clock for uh, how quickly they shoot, how long they like to aim, how long it takes them to get into their anchor and in, into to start their shot sequence. So. Right, and I've been, I've been seeing during the years that this has become a bit, a bit faster. I remember 10 years ago, the Comparnacho was taking a long time to aim and make the shot. And this has been shortened a little bit. I mean, with, uh, with newer equipment, um, like the Elites, are, they have a really high let off, whereas like the Hoyts have a lower let off. The Elite, you don't hold very much rolling weight, and the Hoyts, you can hold a lot more. The let off is a lot lower. Uh, that makes a difference. Mike also shoots quick because he's got a lot of weight on his bow. The more weight, it'll slow things down yes. faster, but you got to hold up a lot more weight if you're shooting for a lot longer <laughs> shots. So. Excellent point. The uh, physical aspect to, to yep. keeping the position and to holding yeah. the ball that is heavy. The bows now are so consistent that it makes uh, with not only the bow themselves and how the geometry, but uh, um, you know stabilizers and everything like that. Make versus ten years ago, it you know you can almost hold in the middle for forever. It seems forever. until your body starts. Uh, you know, your muscles start not to liking it until bit. your body say, "What about shooting? I'm not staying. I'm not sleeping." Good, good start. He start confidence. Very decision. A good decision shot. Nine. Here we go. Tie again. We'll tie it up. Yep. Nine. It looks like Logan is watching on the top when he's drawing. It may just Nine. be a, a tick that Maybe everybody ten. has. I know when I draw back, my head is tilted to the side as I anchor, but I'll kind of look off to the yes. right when I draw back. Just as it's strange, in the curve arches, I have Nine. a tendency to look if the bow is. It's vertical, but you see? It, it'll look up the side it's of the It's a bit screen. strange. So everybody kind of has their own little goofy things they do. <laughs> goofy things. In so compound, you have a, a bubble. You have a level that you can see how the bow is vertical perfectly or not. Yep. So it's not so much need to watch. When in recurve, we don't have this. We're not allowed to have it. And then some archers have a tendency to look if it's straight or not, especially when you have been training this Mm -hmm. The preseason, I'm making sure that the straight are not laid to the left or to the right. And here we have one nine asterisk. Yes. We're looking at uh, Logan's second arrow. Looking close at a couple arrows here on both targets. Score confirmed by the target touch. After nine arrows, on target one, Logan with each six points, and on target two. Cholesterol, we did five points. We move on to end number four. Six arrows left for each guy and 
like Logan has a one point advantage. And as a which isn't very much. In the grand, grand scheme of things, a lot can happen in six arrows. So. so I let you alone for a moment <laughs> to, to help in the production. And here we are back in the match. One point of difference. Logan leading against Mike, Mr. Perfect, Slosher. I was saying a lot can happen. I mean, we've seen Mike shoot 60 arrows in the 10 ring in a row. I'm sure he can handle six. Nine. He told me he was training last week and he was scared because it was just 10. It was not, it was not able to miss. <laughs> 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 but then he said next day the feeling disappeared and <laughs> it was not exactly the same feeling. But I say before, one thing is how you feel when you practice and you work in your sequence of the shot and to make what you want. Another thing is when you are here in the final, there's so much adrenaline and so many things happening that the match go fast. Ten. Internally yeah. go more fast than what really is. <laughs> so from our position, it's very easy to comment and Ten. see what's happened and guess. But inside, things go fast and in a different, different mood. On for everybody's got their own way of handling, you know, pressure making things they concentrate on in their shot cycle and stuff like that. So I know for me, I have to think about how my release is moving in my hand. So I focus on how my release is. I know for a fact that if my sight's moving all over the place, but I still make a really strong shot, that uh, chances are it's still going to make it in there instead of trying real hard to focus on the, the pin, hold the pin in the middle, then I won't. You know, take the take the time and the concentration to make a good solid uh, release. Doesn't matter how long I can aim in the middle if I can't ever get the release to go off. So, uh, for me, I concentrate more on how my uh, how my release. You know, I can feel it moving in my hand because I have quite a bit of travel set on my uh, hand release. Uh, so everybody has their own way uh, their own way of dealing with you know not just the pressure but just. Uh, you know, you're, you have an accelerated heart rate, adrenaline. So, finding your own way to get into your own kind of little, keep into your own small circle, kind of try and block everything else out. So, both Mike and Lo both Mike and Logan have a seem to have a fairly good system. <laughs> they both shot really well. Yep. At times, so and both shoot pretty well today too. And tie again, as you say. One end left. Ten. Now it's. That was a long one, Ten. and a and a silence, a dead silence in the hole. <laughs> Still tied, two arrows to go. Very excited match. Here we go. <laughs> There's another 10 from Mike. 10! Not letting up at all to give Logan any room, so. Ten. Logan's gonna make Mike shoot a 10 <laughs> for his last arrow to. <laughs> Shoot off, shoot yeah. off. Are we going to shoot off? Or Possibly. Oh, Ooh, just yeah, this, yeah, high, opportunity. So. this is the opportunity that... Logan has a little bit of room to work as far as still being able to keep a shoot off, but the straight out win, he's going to have a 10. Oh, we're not right there, it. so shoot off. He gave it, so we got your shoot off. The There's a shoot off you were looking for. I was <laughs> asking for it. And <laughs> these guys are too nice to me. <laughs> I asked for it and they gave it. They gave it to us. Excellent. We will see a shoot off and the shoot off consists of one arrow each archer. They shoot in the middle target. 
and it's the closest to the center. Yep. Which means that if both of them yes, take a 10, they have to measure the distance to the center. And having a very thick arrow and a very little 10, sometimes the measuring is quite challenging. So you have to see really how much is out to the 9 ring <laughs> instead mm -hmm. of how much is in to the 10 ring or to the center of the, the target. Having said that, if it's very, very, very tight, difficult to call, they make another arrow, and that's it. So let's see. All the match, it will end by one arrow and measuring who is closer to the center. This is a good moment for both archers, waiting, thinking in the sequence. What, what, you, will, what you will focus when you are there at this moment? I know both of them are probably pretty disappointed that they, they you know, you didn't, think still didn't, get, the nine? didn't they get that they didn't get yeah, their last arrow in, but, you know, Logan's disappointed he didn't get it, but he's glad he gets another shot oh, at it, and the same for Mike, so, kind of two sides of the same coin, you're happy you get a, another shot, but disappointed you didn't close it out but before, would, but. Wouldn't you not try to forget this nine and start thinking what will be the next one? No. Yep, you're mainly trying to think too that, you know, if you make a good strong shot that you're going to have a good chance of going through. So. That's touching, Ten. touching, That's but not quite in the center. Definitely a lot of room for uh, Logan to put it closer. So we'll see how he, how he does here. And he That's put it closer, yes. <laughs> so Logan White. Got the bronze. It's clear we don't need to wait for the official, the even they know it from the distance, from the 18 meters. And so we that have the was almost inside out. Too, yes. So he made a, he made a, he made a very interesting match, very exciting match with the shoot off, the first shoot off of today. Here in the medal matches. We had more in the preliminaries, but not in the medal matches. So. Logan Wild getting the bronze and enjoying not only the medal but also winning Mike. This is an honor. <laughs>